Zilla uni prete. Zau F2, planet Zizzle. You probably wonder why my skin looks blue. Oh, no. That's because today we're taking a look at the new line of toys for the movie Avatar The Way of Water. That's right, it's in theaters and I did see it a couple weeks ago and I give it two thumbs up, it was a great movie. Now, you don't need to see the first Avatar to understand the second one, but really? this second one takes place mostly on water, around water, and in water opposed to the first one which was basically on land. Now the new clan that we meet in this new movie, Avatar Way of Water, the Metakaina is led by this guy right here, Tonawari right here, he is the leader. So what we have here today is we have the three figures, these have 22 points of articulation in each one. Cool. First we have uh, Nateri right here, the Tonawari, and then on the end, Jake Sully. Now we also have some other vehicles here that they get around in. Now, this is the amp suit from the first Avatar. As you can tell, the box is a different color. Now this right here, this is the G.E.T. Ops Crab Suit. Uh, we also have the RDA Sea Wasp right here. And then on the end, which is pretty cool, this is Tanawari and the Swim Wing. And this is how the uh, Metakaina clan gets around on their Swim Wing. These are cool creatures that go in and out of the water. All right, so we have so many cool toys here. Now, I didn't get a chance to pick them all up, but I did make a small video clip, which I will play for you in a little bit, of some of the other toys from Avatar Way of the Water. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take all these over to the other table. We'll unbox each one and get a closer look at these really cool toys from Avatar Way of Water. Alright, this is the blue and purple Banshee, and this thing is pretty cool because it's controlled by this little mechanism right here. It's wired to the back. You move these different knobs to turn the head, to open the mouth, and the wings. That's from actually the first movie. Just wanted to show you guys that. It's one of our toys. Pretty cool. Nice. Alright, so before we get into reviewing a lot of this, I just want to show you guys a quick clip of some of the other play sets and then we'll come back and look at these figures. Now they also have these mini sets too. This uh, Toussaint and his dire horse. That's the amp suit with the colonel and then Jake Sully and his horse down there too, the Thanator. So with all the other stuff, there's still more. I don't know how many of these there are, but I found these three and there's like a little glow light in here too. So you can press for a really cool effect. All right, so here are the three figures. I'm not sure if there's any more, but this was all that was on the shelf. Now these will come with 22 points of articulation and they come with some nice accessories too. And I think they're what, maybe nine or 10 inch figures. It doesn't say, but they're pretty tall. So they do glow in the dark. We'll check that out a little bit later on in a dark room and see how cool they look too. So this here is Nateri and she is on the Metkaina Reef. All right, so let's open her up and take a look at her. Okay, so here is Nateri. All right, you get the wrists, the elbows, shoulders. Um, the knees will move and they'll move at the um, hip joints. And actually the waist moves in a couple different spots. The top half of the torso will move and then the bottom half of the torso. And check this out, even the tail you can move around. That's pretty cool. Ooh, la, la. And the head will swivel. Nice detail on this. So here's her, you know, regular garb that she wears. Let's put her on this little stand that says A on it for Avatar. All right, you gotta really push it in and she will stand. Let's give her the bow. So I put the bow in the right hand. Now you can put her knife right here in this hand so she has both weapons ready to go. Or you can actually put this right in her little holster in the back right there. Look at that. Cool. That fits, whoop, let's try to get it right in there. There we go. And look at the face detail too. Let's get a close up of that face. 
Well, you can see all the stripes, blue stripes there. Oh, I like this figure a lot. Let's actually put her tail up. And of course, Nateri is married to uh, the Avatar, Jake Sully. All right, so let's put Nateri back there. Let's open up her husband, Jake Sully. Same articulation, and he has actually really long hair with his ponytail in the back. He got a lot of this uh, gear from the Sky People. Actually, he is a Sky person technically because he's an Avatar. And he fell in love with Nateri in the first movie, so... He comes with a lot of weapons because he acquired these actually from the Sky People. Um, so let's put him on the stand. Let's give him some weapons. And there's his outfit. Now they are a little bit hard to get really push down on this stand. All right, there we go. Because there's only one peg. Whoop, get back up. So actually I just noticed this, but the uh, there's some articulation right here in the feet. And that's pretty neat. I've never seen the foot move like that before. So that's that's something new. What? They are a little bit difficult to stand. All right, there you go. Come on, buddy, stand. All right, so again, he has a knife that comes with him. You can put right here. Let's see if we can put it right in there. Then he has this weapon right here. Let's put that in one of his hands. Like that, you should hold it like this. All right. And he also has this accessory too. It's like an ax or a tomahawk. Come on, Jake, stand up, buddy. Bingo! And they're a little bit top heavy. All right, let's give him the tomahawk. Put that in his hand. He's ready for battle. Go get those sky people. All right. A little slightly taller than the Terry. So cool, these action figures. I really like them. And we have one more. And this is Tonawari. So let's take him out of the box. He also glows. Said Swim Wing is sold separately. He just comes with some accessories also. Looks like he has his bow staff and a knife. And he's got some really colorful outfit on. Let's take him out. All right, here is Tonawari. And look at the face paint on him. Let's get a close up of that. That is so awesome. Nice detail. Look at this cool, colorful little robe he has going on. And he's got this necklace with all the teeth, probably shark teeth. He's really decked out. I really like this one. And the tail's a little bit different because they do, you know, they swim. So they're in water. So they're features are a little bit different their hands are kind of webbed and bigger so same with the feet there's some webbing down there on the feet it makes it more dynamic to go through the water i think they have some gills in there too yeah right on the side so here he moves all in the same positions you can give him his bow staff it's got two pointed edges pretty neat i'm just gonna thread it through his hand and then just get it right into the center okay there we go so he's holding his bow staff like that, and then we can give him his knife in this hand. Let's see, just kind of feed it through like that. There we go. You can hold it that way. That's, well, you can hold it either way. So there he is, pretty neat. You can move him all different ways. Look at the feet. That's really neat how they do that. So I don't know why their feet, I mean, can they, is there a reason why they? <laughs> anyway, pretty cool three figures. Don't know if there's any more at this time, but this was all that was left in the store. And it doesn't say on the back of the full collection, but let's get on to some of these vehicles like the crab suit and the amp suit and all those things. There's a look at the back. And this also has, I guess, 22 moving parts. That's pretty neat. And it does glow just like the rest of them. So let's get the right, amp suit. Guys, so here's the amp suit out of the box. And um, it's pretty cool. It's not just a big hunk of metal. This thing is actually uh, quite a sophisticated piece of equipment. It has a lot of capabilities and if you can see the this here the cockpit is fully um, sealed and pressure tight, air pressure tight from the uh, toxic atmosphere on Pandora and I believe there's also a backup air supply in there if this shield breaks. Now this thing was used by the military. They used it on the moon, they used it on Mars and then they used it here on Pandora to fight the uh, Navi because the Navi is so strong and so big that typical human or sky person would have no chance against a Navi in battle. I mean, look at the size of this machine gun it comes with. It has all this ammo and then it comes with a spare arm or spare hand. And then there's the knife also right here. These are the accessories. It's uh, actually a good sized knife. It looks like a normal size right here, but it's probably, I think like, I don't know, three or four feet long, I think, in the movie. So it's pretty big. So 4.2 meters, that translates into about, yeah, 14 feet high. So it's pretty big. So this thing, I guess, was 
built with composites and ceramics and it has a pretty sophisticated computer system inside there too here's a look at the back right there now those are the engines this is a combustible i think gas powered engine that runs these things with all the hydraulics now this right here will move back and forth on the arms on both sides now these arms up down elbows will move and then the hands will twist and move it's a little stiffer than the other figures because it's so big and bulky but there's the uh, legs how they move so you can rah, 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 rah. so this is actually a 30 millimeter cannon and look at all those rounds right there and let's give him his weapon right here let's put it in his hand so whatever the hand or the you know arm would move, so wouldn't this, because it would be strapped and it would be all computerized. And these things are not just used for fighting. I guess they use them to like lift and move heavy things because they have quite a delicate touch, even though they're such a big giant you know piece of machinery. Here's the knife. Let's put it in this hand right here. Oh, uh -oh. see that? That finger just broke off. Oh no! Right there, the thumb just came off. So it, it still works. See, but. Yeah, that broke. Anyways, so you can also put the knife right back in here too. And then this will strap around. The ammunition will go up right through here. And then it just, I don't know, hangs through the back, I think, something like that. All right, and there's your amp suit. Pretty cool. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at these two, the RDA Sea Wasp in the Tonawari and the Swim Wing. Now, this here, we'll take a look at this one first, the uh, Sea Wasp. It was designed specifically for air and water challenges. Actually, I think it already has a small little tiny figure already in there. But let's take it out of the box and get a closer look. It looks like those props will move. Okay, so here's the RDA Wasp. Now it comes in two pieces. I don't know why they just didn't sell it already put together, but I gotta put this piece in. But let's take a look at the bottom here. There's all the ammo and all the weapons right there. And then even on the front too, there's the cockpit you can see. You know, there is somebody in there, very small, but you can see through the yellow glass. And these props all do spin. That's pretty neat, too. Like that. Let me put this in. I'll be right back. All right, so there it is. It just snaps right in. And I think once you put it in, you can't take it out. Um, it's pretty secure. So there's a look at the front right there. That is so cool looking. All right, let's go open the Tanawari and the Swimway. All right, there's a look at the front. There's the back, and it's on a really cool stand over like a little reef with some coral growing here. So, and this glows too. Look at that. That must look really neat. All right, let's take this one out of the box. All right, so here is Tanawari and the swim wing. Now, the swim wing is very colorful, and the head will move, and these wings all move too. Same with the little ones too like that and here's a look at the underside right there and this right here is the stand so this little ball joint will fit in there like that it snaps in and then it can actually you know spin and all that and then it goes on this little coral reef so you put that right in like this and then now we can put these in and then we have to try to get Tonawari standing on his swim wing here let's see if we can hold him up there he is all right, so they give you guys a better look. There he is up top, and then we'll just plug these little uh, coral pieces in down here any way you want, I guess. I don't know if there's a specific spot for them, but I guess you can just put them how you'd like, like that. That's a nice little display right there. Okay, and our last item is the CET Ops Crab Suit. And I think the CET stands for Contraband Enforcement Team. Operations crab suit, I think. It has some glow features too, so let's get it out of the right, box. So here is the crab suit, and the good news is everything's put together. We don't have to put any arms or wings in. Now this was designed to go above the water and underwater. And what you need to do here is uh, open up these legs like this underneath and open these up. Let's figure out how this all opens up. Now there's no directions on how to open it, so you kind of just have to figure it out. But yeah, these all open like that. Some of them are a little bit stiff to open, but they should open. Let's see. Okay. Lots of legs and arms on this thing. Whoa, look at this. The big giant arms in the front. Now this cockpit opens too. And you can see, you can look right in there. 
All right, there's the driver's seat. And then right here in the front, I think this part glows. Get this thing to stand, I don't know. It's pretty cool, Look, it does look like a crab. <laughs> there's the engine, I got the fan will actually move. Here's a look at the top, the underside. Now there's no batteries in this that doesn't make any noises or anything like that. I don't, oh wait, there's some tape right here underneath. Let's see what this opens up, hold on. So it looks like the cockpit will open from the bottom also. Let's see if I can get this tape off. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Whoa, the whole thing opens, cool. And it snaps right back in. And you can put it up, try to get it to stand like that. There we go. Something like that, but you can make the legs go any which way you want. You can play with it, move it around. Pretty neat looking. It has these mechanical arms right here in the front for the grabbing and some ones in the back on each leg. Oh, the crab. Here's a look at all the different figures and vehicles that we got today. Lots of cool stuff here from Avatar The Way of Water. Don't forget to share this video with your friend. Smash that like button and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off and I'll see you guys on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off out of here.